Just over a year after the United States entered World War II, the United States Marine Corps authorized a women's reserve, becoming the last of the services to open its ranks to both genders. By the end of the war in 1945, there were 820 officers and 17,640 enlisted female Marines. These women served in non-combat roles, predominantly in clerical positions, although some were parachute riggers, mechanics, radio operators, welders, and more, and none served farther west than Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Margaret A. Brewer became the first female Marine General when she was promoted to Brigadier General in 1978. Fifteen years later, in 1993, Second Lieutenant Sarah Deal became the first female Marine to be accepted into naval aviation training. Five years later, in 1998, Carol A. Mutter became the first woman in any service branch to achieve three-star status. In 2002, First Lieutenant Bernice Amur became the first black female combat pilot in any service branch. Through the world wars, we've shown the same strength to serve our country and Corps with the same discipline and appreciation as our fellow Marines. Today, we are no longer referred to as female Marines. We are just simply Marines.